Hello and welcome back. So, um, the very last time, um, we went over some, um, some three sound movements and added little bits onto the end of them to make them, uh, like have a connecting feature and like a rolling feature. Um, and then I said that this time around we would get into uh, some choreography that incorporated that. Um, well, I realized after going over some stuff that there's one more thing that I have to teach you guys before we get into like slightly more complicated choreography. And um, so that is time steps. And uh, for those of you who have danced before, you probably have heard about it and if not, time steps are um, kind of a staple throughout um, all of tap dancing. There's so many, there's like hundreds of different types of time steps. I'm going to teach you the very basic ones, um, uh, which is like a single, a double, and a triple, like buck time step. Um, and time steps were basically used when tap dancers used to be like the norm in uh, like old jazz bands and clubs. Um, the, the tap dancer would do the time step to kind of get uh, the, the tempo and the rhythm flowing for the rest of the band and the singer to start going. So um, that's basically what we're going to start with is um, a time step. So a buck time step. Um, a buck time step starts with a stomp, which is why it's called a buck time step because, uh, you know, bucks, you know, they have their feature about them. Yeah. So, um, buck time step starts with stomp, which does it take weight? Yes or no? No. Correct. So stomp, pop, step. Okay. That's the first part. Let's start with the right foot. Stomp, pop on the left, step on the right. Where's your weight? Yes, step takes weight, so your weight is now on your right foot. So, stomp, hop, step, your weight's on the right. You're going to flap on the left foot. Flap, step on the right, stomp on the left to start the movement over. It's that simple. So let's go back and do it again. From the side, starting with the right foot. Stomp, hop. Step, fall lap, step, stomp. Remember, stomp takes no weight, right? So you're starting it on the other foot. Um, and um, just as a general thing, uh, time steps, whenever you're counting in um, the dance, uh, time steps come in on an eight and not a one. So whenever you hear people say five, six, seven, eight, that eight is where your first step will be. So it'll be five, six, seven, eight is your stomp, okay? So five, six, seven, stomp, hop, step, ball lap, step, stomp, okay? The rhythm, stomp, hop, step, ball lap, step, stomp, hop, Step, fall up, step, stomp. So five, six, seven, stomp, hop, step, fall up, step, stomp, hop, step, fall up, step, stomp. Stomp is the start of the next one. Don't forget that. That is a single buck time step. I'm gonna count you in. I'll count you in slow for one, and then I'll count you in fast for one, okay? Five, six, seven, stomp. Hop, step, fall up, step, stomp, hop, step, fall up, step, stomp, hop, step, fall up, step, stomp. How'd you do? All right, let's pick up the tempo a little bit. Five, six, seven, stomp, hop, step, fall up, step, stomp, hop, step, fall up, step, stomp. Hop, step, fall up, step, stomp. How'd it go? I'll do it with you one more time. And then I will show you how to turn the single into a double, okay? Five, six, seven, stomp, hop, step, fall up, step, stomp, hop, step, fall up, step, stomp. 
Really quick note, something that I know people tend to mess up with this is they forget where to put their weight um, when it comes to switching on the flat part. So when you're doing stomp, takes no weight, hop, still the weight's on the left, you step on the right to take weight, you flat, that flat takes weight still. So when you go stomp, hop, step, flap, before this step back, you're flapping forward. That flap takes weight and you move forward with it. So stomp, hop, step, flap, take weight, step back, and then stomp, leave your weight back on that step. So when you go step, stomp, you step, you stay back, you stomp on the left foot so that you can start the movement over for stomp, hop, step, flap, take weight, step back, stomp, to go again. To make something, like when something is a single and you're changing it into a double, what you do is you take one of the steps and you turn it into a flap. So a step is a single sound movement. A flap is a double sound movement, hence why it's called a single and a double. So a single time step, stomp, hop, one step, flap, step, stomp, hop, one step, flap, step, stomp. So to make it a double, you're gonna replace that one step with a flap. So stomp, hop, flap, flap, step, stomp, hop, flap, flap, step, stomp, okay? Let's slow it down a bit. Stomp, no weight. Hop, weight still on the left foot. Full lap, that's two sounds, that's a brush step. And you go to that flap, right? It takes weight. And then you flap again. Step, stomp, okay? Cool, so let's do it again. Five, six, seven, stomp, hop, Flap, flap, step, stomp, hop, flap, flap, step, stomp, hop, flap, flap, step, stomp. Okay? So, um, just be super careful with the flap, flap, because both flaps obviously take weight, um, but it feels different and you don't want to change up the rhythm because it's a, you're adding in an extra sound. So because you're adding in an extra sound, it means you kind of have to speed up that one little section so that it fits in the same um, area of time, okay? Because normally it's just the one step. Stomp, hop, step, flap, right? Instead of stomp, hop, two sounds, right? Two sounds. So let's do All right, we'll do stomp, hop, step, flap, step, stomp, hop, step, flap, step, stomp, hop, flap, flap, step, stomp, hop, flap, flap, step. So what it is, it's two single time steps and two double time steps, starting with a stomp on the right foot. Ready? We'll start, we'll do this one slow. We'll speed it up a bit, okay? One, uh, five, six, seven, stomp, Hop, step, full lap, step, stomp. Hop, step, full lap, step, stomp. Hop, full lap, full lap, step, stomp. Hop, full lap, full lap, step, stomp. Yeah? Good. Let's do it again, but actually, I'll count you in for one so you can do it by yourself, and then we'll do it faster, and then I'll count you in for a faster one too, okay? Five, six, seven, stomp, hop, step, flap, step, stomp, hop, step, flap, step, stomp, hop, flap, flap, step, stomp, hop, flap, flap, step, stomp. How'd it go? Good job. Or it's okay, you can go back and practice it again. <laughs> All right. Let's do it a little faster, okay? Five, six, seven, stomp, hop, step, pull up, step, stomp, hop, step, pull up, step, stomp, hop, pull up, pull up, step, stomp, hop, pull up, pull up, step, stomp. How'd it go? All right, let me.
Let's do it one more time, then I'll count you in. Five, six, seven, stomp, hop, step, collapse, step, stomp, hop, step, collapse, step, stomp, hop, collapse, collapse, step, stomp, hop, collapse, collapse, step, stomp. How'd it go? All right, I'll count you in this time. Ready? Five, six, seven, stomp, hop, step, collapse, step, stomp, hop, step, collapse, step, stomp. Hop, flap, flap, step, stomp. Hop, flap, flap, step, stomp. How'd it go? It's okay. It just seems like a lot the first time you do it, but like once, once you get this basic step in your body, you'll be doing it all the time, and it's super easy. Don't worry about it. Because remember, if it's your first time learning it ever, it makes it'll it'll feel kind of funny for now. It might seem a little hard, but it'll definitely get a lot easier the more you practice it. I promise. So, as we said before, taking a single sound movement and turning it in, turning it into a double sound movement, you have to change the step to a flat, a single sound to a double sound. So, with that same logic, you can think if we're going to a, uh, a triple time step, we're replacing the single sound step with a three sound movement. And that three sound movement is shuffle step. Okay? So with a single, it's stomp, hop, step, pull out, step, stomp. With a triple, that step becomes stomp, hop, shuffle, step. That shuffle step is that three sound movement. Stomp, hop, shuffle, step. Now before, when you did stomp, hop, step, you felt that pause between the hop and the step. That pause is now taken up by the shuffle before the step. So all you're really doing is add in that little space between the hop and the step, you're adding a shuffle because that step still goes in the same spot. You're still going stomp, hop, step, but before that step, you're just doing a shuffle before it. Shuffle, step. So for that triple sound movement, stomp, hop, shuffle, step, full lap, step, no weight, hop, shuffle, step, full lap, step, stomp, hop, shuffle, step, full lap, step, stomp, hop, shuffle, step. I'll slow it down even more. Stomp. Hop, shuffle, step, fall, lap, step, 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 stomp. How'd it go? All right, well, I will count you in so that you can do a couple by yourself. And then we're gonna do the same exercise we just did with the singles and the doubles, but we'll add in the triple. So it'll be two single time steps, two double time steps, and then two triple time steps. Okay, so that's six total time steps, starting on the right foot with a stomp on the count of eight, correct. So, let me count you in by yourself for the two triple time steps, and then we'll add them in. Ready? Five, six, seven, stomp, hop, shuffle, step, full lap, step, stomp, hop, shuffle, step, full lap, step, stomp. How'd it go? Couldn't have been that bad, I promise you. So, one more time and then we'll add them in. Five, six, seven, stomp, hop, shuffle, step, fall, lap, step, stomp, hop, shuffle, step, fall, lap, step, stomp. How'd it go? All right. Well, now let's go back. We'll do two singles, two doubles, and two triples. Starting on one foot, the right one, starting with what sound? 
A stomp that takes what? No weight. Counting in on eight. Right. Five, six, a mm, little slower. Five, six, seven, stomp, hop, step, collapse, step, stomp, hop, step, collapse. assume that you said super great <laughs> and if it didn't that's okay like I said before um, it gets a lot easier the more you practice it so just even without shoes on wherever you are just practice it as much as you want and I promise you you'll get it it's not bad at all so um, for those of you who kind of got it down um, I'll do it a little more sped up so that you guys can get a feel of what it'll normally feel like whenever you're doing it with choreography, okay? Five, six, five, six, seven, stomp, hop, step, hold, stomp, hop, step, hold, stomp, hop, left, hop, 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 Five, six, seven, stomp, hop, step, pull out the stomp, hop, step, pull out the stomp, hop, 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 pull out the stomp, yeah? So, um, that's pretty much it for this week's lesson. So now, we can take what we've got and we can make a pretty neat like a little dance with it, right? So next time around, it'll be the first half of the choreography video that I wanna do, okay? So um, just keep practicing, go back and review the older videos, and good luck, I'll see you next time.